So Florida was, of course, devastated by Hurricane Ian. It was particularly southwest Florida that just got hammered beyond belief. I mean, Fort Myers, Florida was basically wiped off the map. Many places were. The map will permanently change as a result of this because some places are just unsalvageable. Um, so naturally, uh, you know, we're talking about disaster relief and, and money and FEMA getting involved and all this stuff. And um, Marco Rubio, who's the senator from Florida, went on CNN to discuss this with Data Bash, and she asked an interesting question. Let's watch. Senator, you wrote a letter Friday to the Senate Appropriations Committee asking for disaster relief dollars for desperately needed resources to rebuild Florida communities. After Hurricane Sandy hit northeastern states in 2012, you voted no on a $50 mm -hmm. billion dollar relief package. I know you supported a smaller version, but why should other senators vote for relief for your state when you didn't vote for a package to help theirs? Oh, I've always voted for hurricane and disaster relief. I've even voted for it without pay for it. What I didn't vote for in Sandy is because they had included things like a roof for a museum in Washington, D.C., for fisheries in Alaska. It had been loaded up with a bunch of things that had nothing to do with disaster relief. And I wouldn't support disaster relief uh, efforts. I would never put out there that we should go use a disaster relief package for Florida as a way to pay for all kinds of other things people want around the country. So I think that's the key in moments like this. And, and Sandy, unfortunately, they loaded it up. They really did with well, a bunch of things that had nothing to do with Sandy. But I voted for every disaster relief package, especially the, that's clean, and I'll continue right. to do so when it comes to Florida, I'll do that again. And we'll make sure that that package is clean and doesn't have stuff for other people in there. I read the Congressional Research Service report last night. It sounds like that roof actually was damaged by the hurricane. And what happened in Alaska was the result of another disaster. But in any event. Credit to Dana Bash there for actually doing her homework and having like a specific rebuttal to his specific point. Um, I mean, look, we've seen this time and time and time and time again. I remember covering stories, yeah, back when Hurricane Sandy hit, what was it, in like 2013 or something? I remember covering stories of like, you know, here are the Republicans who voted against disaster relief for Hurricane Sandy, but when like flooding hit Texas or whatever other place, they were like, please, federal government, we need help and we need it now. Why are you dragging your feet? This is unconscionable. This is inhumane. This is so wrong. <laughs> and look, uh, you know, to what extent do you say his excuse is legit, right? Like, I'm asking you guys, to what extent do you say his excuse is legit? Because from my perspective, if, you, if they are going to use disaster relief legislation, like basically a must-pass bill to sort of load up other things in there that are particular goodies for particular districts and states, right? You know, in a situation like that, I sort of file it under the tough cookies, but you got to vote for it anyway stuff, right? Like as long as you're not doing anything super egregious, then you got to put it under that category, right? Am I wrong about that? Because, you know, like Danabash said, I'm, most of the stuff that I'm sure he's calling just pork is actually not pork, and it's, you know, related to natural disasters, perhaps in other areas, right? Or, like, repairing some sort of infrastructure that was destroyed, you know? So, I mean, if that is the nature of the bill, it's crazy he would even object for a second, right? So, I'm asking you guys, what do you think, what's... Is that a legit excuse to say, I can't vote for this particular you know, um, disaster relief legislation because of X amount of money is going towards stuff I don't agree with. Because I'm sure if you go with a fine-tooth comb through all the various disaster relief stuff, you're going to find this happens like every time with every disaster. That there's some amount of money that's allocated for certain things that pertain to other disasters or other issues. And most reasonable uh, politicians are going to say, hey, you know, I prioritize this. It's super important. People need help right now. So even if there's aspects of it I don't like, you know, tough cookies. It is what it is. Like, I have to vote for this. So, but again, how many times have we seen this? We've seen this over and over and over and over. And just so you understand, it does not work the other way. There are not equal and opposite hypocrites. You know, I, I, I don't know of a single Democrat that would oppose disaster relief legislation, even if it's for red states. It just doesn't happen. And that, you know, coincides with everything else that we've seen where it is true that red states are the net recipient of more federal tax money than blue states. And it's, you know, if they need the help, then so be it. Like, let let that go to them. It doesn't bother me even in the slightest. But then it's like they trot out these fake ideological concerns every now and then 
when they just want to be, you know, more selfish in their voting pattern. So, and we, uh, guys, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of, because Ted Cruz did the same thing as Marco Rubio on the Hurricane Sandy stuff. And uh, it reminds me of when he was in that debate against Trump in the 2016 race, and he very famously said on air he slammed New York values. Remember that? And he was, like, laughing at New Yorkers and said, like, oh, I we know, because you have New York values. Effectively, like, you're a worse person because you have New York values. And, you know, Trump hit him back pretty hard on that. But, like, that's the mindset, right? The mindset to a lot of these guys is, I just, I don't like the people in the blue states because I view them as Democrats. I view them as having um, a totally different ideology. I don't respect it. I don't like them. And so, are they willing to use the power of government to effectively punish them and deny them things that they would allow for themselves? Yes, I think I think that is part of it. I think that is part of it. And that's the sort of hyper um, partisanship that can cloud your judgment and your morality. And in the case of Marco Rubio, I don't doubt that he thinks like, no, this has to do with the pork and I'm against the pork that's in the bill. But I, I don't know, man. He goes on to say, hey, if there's a lot of pork in the bill for Florida, I'll vote against that. Highly, highly, highly doubted. In fact, you know, I'm sure it does have a decent amount of pork in it, and I'm sure he's going to overlook it because it'd be political suicide for him to vote against his own people getting disaster relief, as it should be. So, I mean, he might think that's the reason why he's he voted as he did, but ultimately, I think he's just working backwards from his conclusion, trying to find a way to maybe deny it for blue states, find a way to rationalize accepting it for red states. And this is what these people do, man. And it's a, again, it's a common thing. They're against disaster relief for blue states, for it, for red states or their own states. Sometimes they're not even, you know, the more extreme ones won't even do other red states when they need help. They'll say F you to every state but their own state. So, look, it shouldn't be that much to ask. Even if there's a situation where there's pork in the bills. It's one of those issues where you go, I might not like this provision or that provision, but ultimately the good it does far outweighs whatever negative you think it might do. So, no brainer. Hey y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.